Today, I'll be revealing the best and fastest dribble moves that creates the most separation in NBA 2K25. Dribbling is very unique this year, so I'm gonna put you guys on to the most effective and efficient dribble moves that I use to help me get open so I can knock down shots without always relying on screens, but most importantly, to win all of my games in NBA 2K25. You guys can see my start to season two has been really good. We are currently 73 and three in park, and my 3v3 pro-am record is really nice as well. We are 21 and four. Now, if we take a look at my 2K card, y'all boys can see we have a 71 three-point percentage. So y'all boys know I got the best jump shot as well. If y'all boys want my jump shot, it will be linked in the description below. And you guys can see, of course, we have a 96 win percentage. So you guys know I am trustworthy and that I'm about to put y'all boys on to the sauce. So if you have been struggling with finding the best and fastest dribble moves, you have stumbled across the right video. But really quick, I wanted to let y'all know that I placed a VC code somewhere in this video. So if y'all boys want me to keep doing VC giveaways, get this video to 1,000 likes and I'll keep placing random VC codes throughout my videos. And if these dribble moves help you out in any way, click that subscribe button right now because almost 90% of y'all that watch my videos every day are not subscribed. And while you're at it, turn on my post notifications so you never miss a video or stream. Tonight, I'll be live at 9 p.m. Central Time hitting Veteran 2 Live. So if you guys like to watch live streams, come check out my stream. I'll be live at 9 p.m. Central Time hitting Veteran 2, unlocking 11 cap breakers. I will be live on both YouTube and Twitch. So whatever you guys prefer to watch, I will be there. But really quick, if you guys are trying to make some money, listen up. Y'all boys know the NFL and NBA season is right around the corner and there has never been an easier way to make money. All you have to do is download Underdog Fantasy, which is the first link in the description. And when you sign up, use code CLUTCH. This is what the specials look like. Here's the LeBron James .5 special. So all LeBron has to do is just score one point and you win money. This is one for Patrick Mahomes. All he has to do is just throw one yard. That's it. There has never been an easier way to get a bag and it also makes watching sports more fun. Go download Underdog Fantasy. It is the first link in the description and make sure y'all boys use code CLUTCH. This is my 99 overall 6 foot 3 point guard 2 way inside out ISO creator. This is the build that I'm going to be showing you guys my exact dribble moves on. Now we have our scoring moves, our playmaking moves, and then our in game celebration. We're going to go one at a time so it's super easy for you guys to follow and we're going to start off with our layup style. Now depending on your attributes and what they are, you guys can equip whatever you want. I'm going with default small because it is the most effective and efficient for what my attribute is for my driving layup. Now for the dunk style, I'm gonna show you guys my exact dunks because you guys ask for them all of the time whenever I get crazy posterizers or even get cool dunks. You guys are always asking what dunks do you use? Starting with the two foot moving dunks, the ones that I have equipped, back scratcher. You guys are gonna click back scratcher and go down to quick drop in back scratchers off two quick drops of course we got quick drops off two quick drop in back scratchers off two if we go over to athletic we got the athletic one handers off two of course my build gets some contact dunks so we got pro contact dunks equipped and as well as small contact dunks equipped now if you guys click rt it will take you to the one foot moving dunks you guys can see right here in the quick drop we have the quick drops off one equipped and then we have the switcheroos off one as well. This one is really glitchy. You guys see this a lot whenever I'm live streaming. This happens all the time and it's actually very effective. For the signature dunks, y'all boys see, I got the Michael Jordan dunk package. I get the Michael Jordan dunk package occasionally, but it's just a classic. You gotta love to see the Michael Jordan dunk package, as in my opinion, it's one of the best looking, most iconic dunks in the game. Of course, that's Jordan. So we gotta use Michael Jordan, and it's also very fast, so you guys are gonna like this one a lot. For the alley-oop dunks, we got pro and elite, so you guys gotta equip those, so anytime you guys catch an alley-oop, you know you guys are lit. The go-to shot that I use is Ja Morant. So all you do is hold RT and just hold up on your right stick and you guys get this really good fast dribble move Just like that you go between the legs and cross over and you guys will get in front of your defender every single time And off this move you hit him with a crossover back the other way quick stop boom You're gonna be able to green that shot every single time because when the defender is on your back They don't get any content and when you guys are comboing up that move is also great just like that you guys see it it adds to your combinations and it's a very effective dribble move. The next move we have is our dribble pull up. Now dribble pull up, a lot of people love the fade this year. In my opinion, Pro 2 is the best dribble pull up in the game. It's the most smooth fade, you get the most separation and it is very easy to time. Going left or right, it does not matter. You guys can see it looks very clean. So make sure you guys use Pro 2 fade. Next dribble move we have is our spin jumper. The spin, holy shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, my laugh, I did not mean to do that. The next move we have is our spin jumper, that move right there. Trey Young has the best and fastest spin jump shot in the game, and it's actually really easy to time. So if you guys like to do spin jump shots or just have fun, or if you guys need a bailout, you can drive into the paint, double tap X, kick it out for a three maybe, and knock that shot down with the Trey Young spin jumper. The next move we have is our hop jumper. Now you guys might know this move got patched, but in my opinion, it's still pretty valid. It is the Jordan Clarkson hop jumper. You guys seen that move right there before. I do it a lot in my combinations, especially before the patch because it was very fast and the speed boost out of it was insane. All you do, if the ball's in your opposite non-dominant hand, you're gonna hold your right stick while holding R2 directly to the left and you're gonna get that animation. If you're a right-handed player, obviously the ball would need to be in your non-dominant hand and you would hold it going to your other direction. But for me, since I'm left-handed, I just hold going to the left and that's the move you get. You can get good combinations out of it and then, oh, give me two. Don't matter, you feel me? It's just a really clean move, especially when comboing up. Defenders are not expected. Now the next move we have is our post fade. You guys might have seen me use this a lot before the patch. Close shots, that move right there, it was insanely broken. Now you guys be asking, what fade do you use to green all those post fades? I'm telling y'all, I've never touched this. It's called pro. And pro fade is extremely glitchy. I don't even have that high of a close shot to be doing post fades like that. And then obviously, if you're out here in the mid range, it's going to affect your mid range shot. That move right there is insanely broken. Post hop shot, this move right here, we're going with Devin Booker. Post hop shot, ooh, that's D book right there. Devin Booker gets a lot of separation. I do this a lot when I'm in takeover and I'm just trolling. You're gonna get a lot of separation off that. Big greens, you know what it is. If you ever need a bailout and you have three seconds left, three, two, one, hit him with the hop shot, get a lot of separation. I don't really use that move that much, but I do use Devin Booker. Now this next move is very important for your player to run fast. A lot of you guys say, bro, why is my player so slow? Your player dribbles so much faster than mine. I'm gonna tell y'all boys right now the reason being. You gotta use motion style Jalen Suggs. You guys just hover over Jalen Suggs' motion style. He runs so fast. You guys can see the player runs pretty damn fast without the ball. And that is because of our motion style, Jalen Suggs. Okay, obviously this ball is attracted to my player to pick it up. So you can't see the full effect. When you guys are running around on the court, use Jalen Suggs versus anybody else. And you will realize how much faster your player is using motion style, Jalen Suggs. Now it's time to get into our playmaking moves. The meaty part of this video, the everything you guys have been waiting for. Starting with our dribble styles, I use DeJounte Murray. Now one reason why I use DeJounte Murray, because... The way I play, I like to go left and right. I do a lot of crossovers and then cross back the other way. Kind of gives me the vibe of NBA 2K20. I could literally put up a side-by-side -side clip of me like dribbling just like this. But the reason why I'm so fast going left and right is because of DeJounte Murray. A lot of people use Darius Garland. You can speed boost very well out of that move as well but it's just gonna be a different animation. You won't be able to go left and right as fast with Darius Garland as I do with DeJounte Murray. So DeJounte Murray, dribble style, throw it on if you guys want my exact signature styles. Now for my signature size up, I use De'Aaron Fox. The next dribble move we have is our regular combo breakdown and that is Kyrie Irving. Aggressive breakdown combos, Stefan Marbury. Make sure you guys throw that on. The next move we have is our escape move. The escape move that I use is Stephen Curry. If you're just standing still and you guys flick to the left or to the right, that whole move is Stephen Curry escape. You guys should know that. All you have to do is just flick your stick over one time and it gets so much separation. If there's a screen there, you guys can get so much off the dribble and then boom, wide open green. You know what it is. Combo moves, Deer and Fox. The crossover that I use is Trey Young. Now it is time for the behind the back. Now you guys might know doing the behind the back, you guys get plucked all the time. You lose the dribble all the damn time. Darius Garland was probably one of the most popular behind the backs. I want you guys to do a favor and switch this to Trey Young. Trey Young behind the back does not get bumped at all. If you guys have been getting ripped all the time when doing this behind the back move, if they're playing on your hip, switch it to Trey Young. You're not going to get ripped. Now it is time to show y'all the spin move that I use. The spin that I use is Stephen Curry. The next hesitation that I'm using is Kobe White hesitation. Now, if you guys watch me when I'm live streaming or just in my videos and you guys see me spam this hesitation, it is Kobe White. This move right here is because of Kobe White. And if you stand behind the screen and if you just flick your controller to the left or to the right two times, you're going to get this animation and behind the screen. You're going to get a lot of space and you're going to be able to pull that off. And it also, and it also adds to your combination. So it's pretty glitchy. I'm going to be honest. I really like this move. And that is because I use Kobe White hesitation. And you also need to do that move. You're going to need Stephen Curry escape move. Now, this is probably the most asked question. What is my step back? I mean, I feel like this has been known since the start of the year. 
Luka Doncic step back gets you the most space. It is the best one in the game. You can kill so many people when you guys are running down the floor. You guys can literally kill any defender if you guys are going off the screen or anything. You drive in, skirt, step back. Ugh, give me three. You feel me? If you're on the threes or the twos, this step back also creates a lot of ankle breakers. So flick down, holding RT. Get a lot of space, a lot of separation. That is Luca's step back. If these dribble moves helped you become a better dribbler in NBA 2K25, drop a like on the video. And if you're new, consider subscribing. Don't forget, at 9 p.m., I will be hitting Veteran 2. So if you guys want to watch me hit this live, all you got to do is just turn on my noties, come through the live stream, and watch me get these 11 cap breakers for reaching Veteran 2. Hey, if y'all boys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys check out the brand new video on the screen. And if you guys don't follow my Instagram or Twitter, go do that right now. I love y'all and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.